The words that we use are so important. They can hurt us or help us. And I think especially when someone is talking about their own trauma, it's especially important to listen to the words they're saying and reflect them back and not use words that can be hurtful. I didn't experience that yesterday. My naturopath is wonderful. The student is wonderful. They both listen to me. They're both compassionate. They always hear me. But my naturopath was sick yesterday. So the walk-in naturopath, she was very brusque and she didn't hear me. So the student was saying like, hey, can I say you have had a traumatic you know, childhood experience. And I said, yeah, you can say anything. Like I had talked to her about that before. Like, I think it's important for people to learn about um, trauma and cult survivors. And I'm okay with people learning from me because I can speak about it and some people can't. So she said, Cheryl, they were involved with the cult. And I said, uh, no, uh, that implies I had choice. I had no choice. I was born into the cult. My parents abused and tortured me. All the other abusers did. I had no choice. And she, she was like nodding and she was hearing me. But then the naturopath picked it up and said, oh, so you were involved with the cult. I said, no, that implies I had a choice. I was born into it. My parents tortured me. I had no choice. And she goes, well, but you were still involved. And she was not hearing me on something that is very vulnerable and traumatic and is my own experience of trauma, of torture, of mind control that I know best. I was not involved. I didn't have a choice. I was born into it intentionally. That's all they wanted me for was to torture me, use mind control for me, profit off me for the child prostitution, the child pornography, the trading of me to other cults. Like, like it was so dismissive and just plowing through. And she did a number of things in that visit that were like power tripping. And it just didn't feel good. And so I didn't feel safe in that moment. But afterwards, back with the student again, I felt safe and could commiserate. But it's, it's not a great thing to try and talk over someone's own experience of their trauma. It was not helpful. It's not a great thing. I talk about trauma from a place of understanding it in my books, especially Scars, which has been frequently banned. If you want to win a signed hardcover first edition copy of Scars, which is now rare and hard to find, if you have less than $1,000 in your bank account and you donate $1 to the family in Gaza that I'm fundraising for, you're entered to win a copy. If you have more than $1,000 in your bank account, if you could donate $5 or more in your currency, that would be awesome. And you are entered to win a signed, hardcover, rare, first edition, hard to find copy of Scars. Email the proof of donating to Cheryl at ShellRainfield.com. Link is in the bio for the family.